Okay, babe, here we go. It's on what's going on in Delphi. Okay, Delphi community. Uh, the most interesting receipts dropped today. We've all been waiting for it. So the murder sheet did their um, first episode on, you know, the Delphi um, transcripts. As we all knew that, you know, they had gotten transcripts of a conversation between Keegan Klein and investigators, okay? <coughs> and um, I guess those documents then leaked to someone else, and um, some red unredacted versions got put out. But Murder Sheet um, went ahead and uploaded their second episode today. I mean, they were kind of forced to do it, you know? I know a lot of people have morbid curiosity, but there's some, like, a lot of CSAM... Um, material discussed and victims' names and, you know, I don't know. I think, you know, people should stop circulating that. If they're circulating the unredacted ones, stop. Yeah, don't, don't circulate unredacted stuff. It's not right. You know, it has innocent victims in there and it also has, like, descriptions of CSAM and, you know, you can't unlisten or unsee or un, you know... There's certain evils that you just don't want to know about. Like One thing I've seen was 195 pages long. It was. I mean, it was very interesting. And, you know, I, I'm just mind blown, babe. I am mind blown. What new things have you learned today that we need okay. to discuss? First of all, Tony Klein is bridge guy. Um, I'm just that's like... That's your theory? And you're that's my theory it. and I'm sticking to it. And, you know... First of all, like, we've just now learned that there is a huge social media aspect to this crime, you know, which is something that has been denied for the last five years. Yeah, so okay. we kept been taken off his trail of this We have been media. talking about, the like, anybody that brought up this catfishing angle was totally, like, um, considered conspiracy theorists, right, you know? I Which mean, we thought me, Brittany but. being held against her will and trafficked all over Hollywood was a conspiracy theory, too. But, you know, we, well, we were wrong. When you're free dealing with unsolved crime, there's no things that you rule out like that. There's You can't rule out until you solve the crime. Right. That's a piece of thing you can't rule out, you know. Well, there was so many weird things about the crime and his mothers and, like, you know like a few people it's like it, we just got the sense like you know catfishing was a really big thing and and especially 2017 when apps like snapchat and kick and certain things really took off right mm -hmm. well if you remember here we had the naomi jones case yeah and it was in 2017 and this is why i got in, like interested in delphi because she was 14 year old girl and it, she was on the marco polo app yeah i remember and that. she was kidnapped we went well, we didn't know she was kidnapped, but we didn't know what happened to the girl. I remember searching for her, though. There was, like, search parties. Everybody was looking for her. But she she ended up getting murdered by a sex offender. Piece of shit. Anyways. But anyways, we're, we're on it, the it had social to do media with, It had to do with social media. So it, it was very, like, a very big thing. And as soon as anybody, like, said anything in, in any of the Facebook groups or the YouTube videos... Or the live streams, or the you know true crime community about this catfishing thing. It was immediately shut down. Like you know, like it's all a conspiracy because you know, um, CSAM is a thing apparently. Yeah, because didn't you say they have a new whole new office in Delphi to deal with this CSAM issue, and they've been making a bunch of bus or in Indiana? Well, I heard that they rented a building that was really really big, and you know, I don't want to quote anybody wrong so i just know that they said they're gonna have to hire a bunch of more investigators for this case and they're like upgrading their their headquarters and you know the fbi is involved homeland security is involved um yeah so was there stuff indiana of, state police is involved was there stuff about the drop box and the drop from murder sheets today okay so today on murder sheet you know we pretty much learned that keegan klein um Created the profile that catfished Libby to her death. Okay. Um, his whole thing is he doesn't remember any of that. I mean, the gist of it is pretty much, you know, there's only two people that could have accessed this account. Him or his dad. Yeah. You know, and, and Keegan's not wanting to roll on his dad for some reason. And I think because part of it... accessory to the fact. Right. <laughs> you know, but, but the disturbing details of, like, stuff that's happened... 
before before the murder is just like mind blown. Like this the this Anthony Schatz account groomed these girls. I mean, they were he wasn't just talking to Libby. He was talking to Libby's friends. You know, they had had a sleep over the weekend before where they all stayed up all night, like yeah. talking, you know, to this Anthony Schatz account. I mean, and it's just sick that like, you know, you know all that and I mean, he was... Well, clarify about the last, the week before where they had the sleepover, because it was a, a fact. Then it became, somebody said it was false. Now it's a fact again, because it was in this murder sheets thing. Oh, no. The um, thing about, there was a peeping Tom. Yeah, the peeping okay, Tom. Okay, so, you know, when the press release happened that they wanted people that tried to meet up with the Anthony Schatz account, one of Libby's friends had given this Anthony Schatz account her address, and the girl had lived around the, the corner from... Uh, Tony Klein, mm -hmm. and um, she agrees to meet at her house or whatever. She's getting off her school bus, and she sees a man with a ski mask on outside of her window. Yeah. So I guess she goes, calls police or whatever. Yeah. You know, the man is gone, but they did file a report. Yeah. But that's what I was talking about. I thought at one point that was positive but then uh, the next day they were they said it was false and now we're back on it. It, well, it really somebody happened. Somebody had again. questioned somebody had questioned Kelsey on Twitter. Yeah. And Kelsey shot that rumor down. She said it never happened. But it now never it's happened. But now it has happened. Now, 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 now it's, it's like, in police reports. Now it's in police reports that we know for sure that did happen. So that's a very that's a very big pebble to me. That's a very big like <laughs> That's a boulder. Yeah. <sighs> That, I mean that that's 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 a very you know big what red this is what really pisses me off okay and I want to shout out some of the people that I really like in this community like um, Kristen behind the crime door I just found you and I really like you and True Crime Maria but like I'm about to shade Gray Hughes babe I don't care okay so when you know Kelsey first came out on her media press tour going to the little podcast back in 2017 2018 mm -hmm. like after the murders. You know, they tried to say that social media had nothing to do with this crime. Yeah. Nothing to do with it. We were conspiracy theorists. We were shut down. We were called stupid. We were dumb. We were kicked from chats. We were blocked. If we ever even brought it up. Which that don't make no sense because you'd never throw out a certain trail down a murder investigation that hadn't been solved, like I said a few minutes ago. That Why would you be so hard on not wanting it to go down that route? I have no idea. But here's the kicker. Gray Hughes, in 2017, gets some receipts on Facebook Messenger of an entire conversation between this Anthony Schatz account and some other little girl. Oh. Okay? So, if they would have got on this catfishing angle, could you imagine what the power of Reddit the power of 4chan and the power of YouTubers and all of us could do. Oh, yeah. Once we found out that, that they might have been catfished and here's the account. I mean, we did, you know, they'd have had their whole family trees doxxed. Yeah. They would have found every pedophile account on Tony Klein. They would have known who was what doing where. I mean, because you, we've been on YouTube. We've seen people get doxxed. So, social media is changing every aspect of the crime, from the commission of the crime and to the, to the solving of the crime. It's changing both angles on every scope But since of it. Gray Hughes had to jump on the bus of shutting down anybody that had that theory. Yeah. And then Kelsey co-signing the that that could not be a possibility. Now here we are five years later with this case unsolved, finding out that it had everything to do with catfishing in a social media aspect. Yeah, yeah that, that don't make that don't make no sense. And I, why did Kelsey just say that this rumor wasn't true? That 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 never happened when the cops questioned Keegan, Keegan. When the Anthony Schatz account got the address for said little girl, and the little girl gets off bus and, and sees Stranger with Ski Mask, mm -hmm. and that's what was outed days ago, baby. Yeah. Days, days ago. Okay? And, and Sleuth was a liar, and, and everybody was liars, and, and shame on us for, you know, whatever. I mean, because... Well, I, I've been on the end of that, too, where you, if you bring up Liberty's backup Twitter, who has Keegan on it... And but, you bring that up, that people act like that doesn't even exist. It exists. I have it. Well, I've I been think to it. because Kelsey is is trying to spin the narrative that this whole thing with the Anthony Schatz account yeah. was like a very short term thing, but in fact it wasn't. It, you got a ring of pedophiles grooming teenagers. Yeah. Okay, and that takes time. It does. You can't just message somebody, <coughs> even adult wise. You can't just message an adult and have them meet up with you tonight. 
you know, exactly. it, it doesn't work like that for anybody in any realm of anything. You know? But if you bring up Grey Hughes and you bring up Kelsey, you get ridiculed for it. And and I've seen all, like, listen, I don't blame Kelsey for one single thing, okay? I don't know how I would react if I was her. But she is reacting like a guilty person reacts. Yeah, we're not saying she's guilty. She's I feel acting like, like that. Little sister told big sister that she might have been wanting to meet a boyfriend that day. Mm -hmm. Is what I think. Because I've heard that, that Kelsey did delete apps off of her phone or, or somebody's phone as well. That could be just rumor. That's speculation. I, I don't know that as fact. So don't get in my comments being like, I want the receipts for such and such quote. I'm just going by like what I think I remember. Because I've been following this case for years. I mean, it, it's like you forget over time some of this stuff. Since the beginning. And who... And, uh... But anyways, let me... Like, Kelsey, I think they want to make it appear... Like, the narrative to appear that this was a short-term thing. It wasn't. I think Kelsey... I think Liberty was talking with these accounts between him and his dad for a very long time. And I think that Liberty knew it. And I think maybe she felt some guilt for it. Didn't want to get in trouble for it. So she, she wants nothing to do with this social media aspect. Even I read her thing the other day and it seems like she's almost disappointed that it's going in this direction. Mm. Like, I don't think she had anything to do with the murder. I'm not implying that one single bit. Yeah, nobody's But I think that. she knows more than what she's saying. Yeah. And I think if she would have came honest with the police back in 2017, Keegan, Keegan was out reoffending. You know, they, they didn't even, like, they knew in 2017 when they raided Keegan the first time, he was in possession of, like, 30 felonies worth of child porn yeah. that he admitted to. Okay? Yeah, the only reason the cops are going to let you go for a crime like that for so many years is because they want information on somebody else. You return a confidential informant. Either him know. or his, his dad is bridge guy, and... And if you look at Keegan, you that know he's bridge not guy. bridge guy. Keegan ain't bridge guy. I know that. I can tell by looking at like that. But I'm just afraid that if we put this video out, it's going to have my Kelsey like supporters, and I support her too. But I do think that there are things that she omitted, and and you can say omitting is a form of lying. But I think there's things that she had omitted from this investigation that didn't help bring these this yeah. to justice. And I, and I think omitting things and doing things the way, going to Great Hughes and, and, and steering the investigation in the public eye and in, by, in the Denying law Denying that that backup Twitter is is Libby's, even though it's connected to, to the Keegan Klein well, Twitter account? The reason I know it's Libby's backup Twitter is because there, there are certain family members that were connected to somebody else in the case. Oh, yeah. That are on both the Twitters, and they're talking to each other publicly and you can still see them to this day so there's no way it was not it was somebody else and it was this is prior to the twitter that everybody's watching now this right this twitter was made i remember before that. that yeah we so may even it's have on my, it's on my that. channel I, it's all on my channel oh it, it is yeah yeah the twitter thing her backup she has two she had two twitters i think she had two instagrams too i'm not i don't don't quote me on that you know what's crazy and you know i, I might sound conspiracy theorist on this too like the shill miller case okay he used the same model's picture that Keegan used and his catfish account, both of them, say, from Alaska, and yeah. then both of them, people are murdered. Little yeah. girls are murdered. But then, okay, you sent me a receipt, too, today about the Zachary Vermillion. Yeah, that's a creepy fucking dude, too. He okay, had access to Google Drive. The day after the girls were murdered. Oh, and when we went to his Facebook back in, like, 20... When did we go through? We, we, we just went through him back in December. When we found out about the Anthony Shots account, we yeah, were all over... Yeah, we tracking down. We lurked all over their Facebooks. I mean, and, and it's like I started to see a pattern with, like, the icon picture and the background picture. And I'm not going to say what those are. Um, but we'll say they all work at Chrysler. Some of them. 90% of the ones who ran into rent. You mamas Chrysler. would be horrified if, if I told y'all every time you, like, I can't unsee it. But that was kind of my superpower on Troll Avenue. It's like I could see these troll accounts and, like, see the patterns. 
mm-hmm. and it's like you start to see it on Facebook with these pedophile accounts. Like you don't understand. There's so many people that are going down right now because of this Keegan Klein Dropbox. Yeah. I, well, I'm with you. I think there's something that people do on Facebook. They either put up a certain picture or they they put something. They work somewhere to, as a code for each other. I think that's how. I so they'll kind of know if they're in the know. You know, and South Indiana has a lot of this. <laughs> So. Yeah, dude, I fuck the entire state where, of Indiana. Where, 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 where <laughs> that other guy you just mentioned that murdered that did the same catfish? Show angle. Miller, Indiana. He, he was, was in Indiana yeah, too? that was another connection. I'm sorry. Thanks for thanks for reminding me. Yeah, they were both from Indiana. They were both right around Keegan's. I mean, the guy looks like Keegan's cousin. But I mean, that's just like I'm not even speculating that. I'm but just he saying, made, like he, made, he he murdered two other girls or had two other girls murdered. He groomed this one girl for a period of time. And he was using, like I said, the same model picture from Alaska, whatever. And um, told this girl that he, he had millions of dollars and he would pay her a bunch of money if she killed her, her friend or whatever. Mm. So the girl actually recruited two dudes to help her, even. And did they video it and everything? Yeah, and, and videoed it and made a snuff film. But they don't want Made wanna... a snuff film for money? Yes. Just like and you would put it in a Google Box drive so everybody else could find it, like... So you Keegan can had. go on vacations to Vegas and use cryptocurrency. And they have a and, cop friend, you know. Yeah, I mean, that's pretty <laughs> sus, too. <laughs> have a cop friend back you up. You know, in True Crime Maria, she was on to that little nugget, too. But, like, I've seen the little right fighters in her comments. We know that man, and he's a good man, and don't you tarnish his name. Girl, i seen his Facebook. i seen his backup little Pinterest where he was interested in them little naked fairies and shit. Um... Disney porn. I mean, it's sick. And, and it's like, you see these patterns of these people. And, like, I know True Crime Maria. Like, these people don't want to call this shit out on their channels. Y'all can see, I post all kind of shit on my channel. It's yeah. fine. <laughs> I, 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 I like to do it with no apologies. And you, you split it down the middle. The time for ni- niceness ended on February 14th, 2017 at 3 p.m. That's where time for niceness ended. There's a there, lot of people that, that day, feel the same way you do. And... And there's, there are people that have called out Kelsey. There are. But when they do, it is so taboo. Yeah. Like, I like y'all, please don't come for me. Like, I am not trying to start a war there's with the to be Kelsey. There's right fighters. In that. But, uh, I, I, and, I, and I, I told Jamie a minute ago, I'm like, hey, you know, if, if somebody in my family was murdered, I would expect to be a suspect myself. You know what I'm saying? I mean, everybody's suspect until the crime is, is, is solved. You know, maybe. Every avenue it, needs to be going down until the crime is solved. Whether it be social media or, or otherwise, you don't like. Like omit I keep one wondering avenue. why. Like I keep wondering, you know, there was so many people that like were wanting so badly for this not to be a connection, the social media thing. Is it like? Is it because it's so horrifying to think about? I mean, think about it. Like these little girls were lured to their death this, by a pedophile. This ring. case has a lot of weird stuff. Go to Bobby Camar's channel and check it. Check out that stuff. There's some weird stuff with this case. You know what I'm saying? Like, and and wh- how far does it go? Like, I'm just, like, mortified. Like, I've lost sleep over this. Mm, it's a, it is a very horrible... Any, any parent would be mortified by this case, I would think. I'm yeah. just so irritated because the whole... I'm going to go back to Gray Hughes. I'm not done bitching about that. Like, you know, there's so many mamas out there that felt such a strong connection to these girls. Like, you know, they were doing what we did as 14-year-old girls, you know? And then it just seemed like that year, 2017, there was a lot of this shit happening. Like, the Naomi Jones thing is what, you know, really... I You know, then I hear about the Snapchat thing with with Libby and Abby... And you had a daughter at the time, like, that was younger, who were on these apps. So, it's like, maybe that's why I paid closer yeah, attention. Yeah, you worry about that stuff. You but know. to find out that that, like, once I went on these people's Facebooks and lurked and shit, man, it, like, turned my stomach. I mean, I was disgusted. Yeah, it's, it's hard for me to be a young lady on, on social media because you're targeted by so many people just by doing, not even trying to look for it, you know? I just know there was so many people, there was a couple comments in the very beginning about this whole social media thing, and I don't understand how Kelsey couldn't connect the dots. Like, if she knew that they were in contact, this like, how did she, in the police reports of the police interrogation, or no, this was in the Barbara McDonald interview, she asked Kegan, hey, do you remember talking to Kelsey German? 
mm -hmm. that night. And he's like, oh, I don't remember. So what account did she message him with? Her own account? Well, Tegan could be lying, too. I mean, it's just because, like I said earlier, like it doesn't sound right. Goes, Kelsey I don't remember admitted this. to it. Yeah, well, I'm saying, I don't remember ta I don't remember this. I don't remember that. You know, he, he, that's how he words it. It's not that I didn't do it or this didn't happen. It's that I don't remember that happening. I want to know, did Kelsey, was Kelsey, like, why couldn't she connect the dots that it had something to do with social media if she was also connected to that catfisher thing? And she's seen that people on, on you know, Reddit and in the community were trying to bring that up. I would think, yeah, my sister was talking to all these people and online. Austin's razor would tell you from, from the beginning it would have been a social media aspect. I would have handed over my phone. I wouldn't have deleted shit. Mm. I would have said, please take every device I got. Yeah. I think Austin Razor points to... to and that. get this, really too. Do. Here's another point I want to make. Libby's phone was factory reset a week before oh. the murder. You know who else does that? Pedophiles. Yeah, because... Because Keegan done it. Pedophiles that groom kids. If, if your kid comes to you and is like, I want to factory reset my phone. No. Did Duggar reset his phone all the time? But you <laughs> know what? It was the family that's when people were saying like, that seems very sus. Yeah. You know, they were like, Libby's phone was freezing. So we helped her do it. Yeah. Like there's so many inconsistent things and nobody wants to talk about it. I think what happens is these kids go online. You know, these young girls, and they get on, and they get into some trouble or whatever. And their parents don't want to believe that. You know, and their parents don't want to be like, no, they weren't online. And it's kind of hard as a parent to be like, yeah, my daughter was online, you know, talking to different people. But it's kind of hard as a parent. But if I was an investigator. I know. Okay, I don't, we're talking about publicly. I would go to the parents, and I'd be like, look, I have proof that it happens way more than you think it does. There are so yeah. many teen girls right now that are showing their their breasts all I, I, over Snapchat. I think the parents worried about their daughter who has been murdered looking bad to the public eye, but that's is the time for looking bad. But here's is, another is, theory. Over, Listen, I just know? thought of another theory. There was another case where they this girl was like a sextortion case. Yeah. Where once they got the naked pics of the girl, they used it to harass her and torment her after yeah. that. So what if Libby had given pics of herself to these people, mm -hmm. and then they said, okay, well, if you don't meet me here, then I'll out your pics to your parents. Yes, yeah, that happens too. I know it happens. Could and, it have uh, happened to Kelsey as well? I Maybe agree. they, it's like... It's very possible. It's a very good theory. Threatened her? It's a very good theory, because I, I remember one time I was talking to a police officer at work one day, and he was discussing, it was right after one where the guy that owned Lambert's had gotten in trouble with all the child, the CSAM. Yeah. It was a big, very big deal in this area because Lambert's is such a big cafe. Yeah. And uh, and he, he pretty much said, if you think you're doing something online and you're not being tracked, you're an idiot. Yeah. Because they tagged that stuff. Because if anybody's ever downloaded um, a torrent and got an email from their AT&T or their cable <laughs> company, going, you downloaded you downloaded the Batman yesterday, you needed to delete it off your computer. Like, they put damn it, man. If you, you downloaded, you know, Th this that's movie. That's the Josh Duggar situation right that, there. That's, that, when you access these things online, you know if you even go, he's like, they I wonder if Josh Duggar's connected to this shit. I don't know, he's so You crazy. know who else is connected to this shit? Who? The head of the FBI. Yeah. That dropped the ball on the Nassar case. Oh, shit. But my point is, they have trackers and all this stuff. They have trackers in these things. I know. That's... If you don't know how to download a torrent and never done it, you don't know what I'm talking about. But if you downloaded some movie like The Batman, or I, I like downloading <laughs> The Walking Dead in 1883, and there's a few other shows I like watching, and you will get an email every now and then. You know what you I like? If you don't stop it proceeding. <laughs> that mean you can talk shit on my channel, because like... It's getting so bad with the YouTube algorithm. Like, I heard somebody made a video the other day, and instead of killed, they, they had to say unalived them. Unalived. Yeah, you got to be careful. <laughs> it's getting very bad with, with the, the, the algorithm. Sam. YouTube has a, has a very good algorithm. Listen, yeah. guys, we stopped saying um, kitty porn, child porn. But now you just said it, see? I, well, we <laughs> stopped saying it. We now refer to it as child sex abuse material because that's what it is. It is not porn. These children don't sign up to be in porn. Yeah. 
It's it's disgusting and it's abuse. Mm-hmm. Period. But yeah, it's it's all connected one way or another. But yeah, the, that cop told me he said if you're downloading something or you're doing something online you don't think is being tracked, you're being tracked. Don't they they have their ways. He he, he would exp- he explained it was pretty in depth to how they do their stuff. But you know what though, like, and if you have a teen daughter on social media, like they are not as safe as you think they are. I mean, it, it it's so crazy. If Gray Hughes wasn't such a little wuss, we'd have this solved by now. You know what? He wanted so bad to believe it was some serial killer type of situation. Smiley face killers. But here's the thing. It's like the way that they met, there was so many red flags that, that told me they were planning on, it was a planned thing. Mm-hmm. You know, even even though the parents came out and denied it was a planned thing. It was a spur of the moment. It was this. It was that. You know, at the end of the day, I, you know, like, look what's happened. Like, now let's face the problem, okay? We have yeah. pedophiles everywhere in Indiana. Yeah, it's time for everybody to drop and, and stop being worried about niceness and this and that. And let's just all get down to the bare bones and everybody needs to come clean in the situation. We need to start a group so me and, like, Facebook if moms can, like, troll the killers, these pedophile Facebooks. If you want the people who are responsible for us to be called, them. it's time to stop being nice. It's, ta- it's time to stop being worried about hurting someone's feelings. You know, it's, it, y'all, everybody needs to come clean. And People want to have compassion because the family is going through. Too. They are. And, and at the end of the day, like, I can't imagine and I understand what they're that. going through. I understand that. But then sometimes if you want to catch the person, that, the culprit. That, People that want have. justice so bad. They do. They just want justice. I know. No matter what road they have to go down to get it. They want to know that these pedophiles are off the streets. I mean, this is crazy. Like, anybody with kids should be scared. Like, some of these accounts, like, I think there's some kind of Alaska connection. Like, it seems like a lot of these pedophile accounts that I was... Something about Alaska being in, in somewhere in the title. Mm-hmm. And they it. usually, even if they don't have kids, because I know Keegan doesn't even have a kid, but, he'll, you know, I think... Might have been someone else, but their profile pictures are them with a child. And then usually they have cars in the background or like cartoons. You'll see somewhere on their Facebook page is cartoon stuff. Mm. And, 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 you know, people don't want to see their teacher and then start seeing these red flags. Okay. But how do you think these pedophiles, they don't operate solo. They trade. They, they're in groups. And that these are little telltale signs that, like, hey, you're like me. We can trade porn now. And a lot of them have fake female accounts, which is sus as fuck, too. That's true. I'll see things like expecting mom. Oh, wow. On a, like, profile where the, where the chick looks like she's in a bikini and, like, she does porn. Mm. And it'll be like expecting mom because there's fetishes, baby. Like, I don't know if you know that there's like feeding your baby fetishes. Oh, man. And you know what's crazy, though? Like that Shill Miller guy. I got to. He has this thing with like wanting to see people change diapers. Like that's one of his uh. fetishes, right? <laughs> Guess who else in Indiana that had a had a diaper fetish went to prison for murdering his kid? Ooh. That red wine dude. His kid found pictures of him. Oh yeah. With the diapers. Oh. And yeah. he killed his fucking kid. Guess mm. where he's from? Indiana. There's some weird I was say, shit going on in Indiana. Indiana seems to be like the main point to the river. You know, people Indiana. called the red wine guy bridge guy for a while. There's a whole word about it. <laughs> like people were like, but you know what's crazy is these pedophile accounts have a lot in common. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, looking through it, you get sick of looking at some of this stuff sometimes. You keep going down these rabbit holes, these rabbit holes, and going down Facebook, checking out this profile, that profile. And some stuff, you start seeing stuff over and over again. You're like, huh. I, I have a thing for noticing patterns. I don't know why, but, you know, when I was in the angry grandpa community and all the people would troll us and shit, mm-hmm. and you just start to recognize patterns with people's typing, the way they phrase things, and it's like you could start to, like, tell who's who. Yeah. And it's almost like that. It, it really is. And it's so easy. And then once you see it, you can't unsee it. You can't unsee it. That's why I don't even, like, 
I don't post on my Facebook anymore. I don't check it anymore. Mm-hmm. Like, Facebook is dead to me now. It's dead to a lot of people. And uh, I think I got a strike for something I did like 10 years ago on Facebook for some photo I uploaded. And I ain't been on there. It's like, man, I ain't been on here. You can't go live. I don't care. <laughs> <laughs> I really don't care, Facebook. <laughs> you and Mark Zuckerberg. Uh, it's so hard to laugh and then talk about such a serious topic, it but it's just like, I'm... It's kind of winding now. We're getting close to 30 minutes, so we're going to have to wind down anyway, so... <sighs> and then I'll go back to... Finishing reading it, and there may be another installment of this here soon when you get finished reading everything. Well, I'm going to put and my there's... thoughts out there, because this is my channel. I don't even have a thousand subs. I would never monetize anything about this, and I'm not afraid to say a lot of things that a, a lot of other creators that probably want to say but can't yeah because I mean, you, you know you can't be apologetic you can't be nice it is what it is the things fall where they may you know the cookie crumbles where it crumbles it just it just lands where it lands and that's where it lands you can't there's no niceness about it it's just, it's got to be what's real what's what's factual facts don't care about your feelings i know but i just feel so sorry for kelsey because like just imagine the guilt like uh I just hope that whatever she knows, she's coming and telling the police now. You know, whatever it is. Whatever mm-hmm. her truth is. You know, like, just come out with it. If, if it helps the investigation. I think if anybody has anything that they've held back, they need to come, come out with it and just figure it out. If you have to get yourself an attorney to figure out how you're going to do that, then do that. You know, but if you have something... You know, no matter and who Gray you Hughes, are... Don't, don't, like... You know, it's one thing to, like try to debunk the whole catfish theory but it's like the way you treated others whoever brought it up because if we would have known if you would have put out those receipts that you got with that anthony shots account boy i mean reddit would have solved this 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 crime was made for the internet i mean it really was with the social media aspect of it it was made and 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 you know what that's why leaker came out and i'm gonna say that too I think Leaker is a frustrated ass person and it's like they they watched, you know, they lurk on all of us. They they lurk our streams, they lurk our stuff and they wanted us to be on this catfishing thing because they knew that with the power of the internet, we could have found every every damn account connected yeah. to Keegan Klein Web, and Tony Web, Klein. Web Sleuths and Reddit have been proving that for a long time. You know that the social media aspect has changed. And every great aspect hues, of everything. like it, if you would have been the one to come out with that, like can you imagine the glory you'd have right now? Yeah. And I know well, he'll he, probably comment. Yeah, I don't care. <laughs> great hues and good. He 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 bought, He he's a sellout. He sold out. You know, he instead of being a real don't come for us, great hues stands. Please. Instead, of, instead, <laughs> instead of just being a straight, just like investigator, and a real investigator doesn't like say oh this path isn't worth it we're not going down this path at all there's just when the crime's not solved and you don't have that information you can't go that you don't have enough information to admit nor deny it you can't you can't go either way it's it's hard to put put into words what i'm trying to say i just but. if kelsey wouldn't have went on the whole media tour and she, i think she made her own video she did some podcasts you know and like it, it was like she wanted so hard to spin that narrative off of that catfishing thing you know, and like, Kelsey, your account's connected to the Anthony Shots account Kelsey now. I think Kelsey needs to shut the fuck up. Don't be saying nothing to nobody. Get yourself an attorney and figure out where you're going to go. Yeah, don't um, even try to approve. Appro- like, don't even try you don't to have say to write nothing. fight. Yeah, yeah you, don't, you don't have to write fight nobody. Like, you don't, you don't have to. That's making it look worse. That's making yeah, it harder for everybody don't. else. So just don't. Just stop. Sometimes you don't have to respond. Like, you don't have to respond to everything. I think sometimes if you if you made a mistake of something that you said to the cops, you dig yourself into a hole where you think you done dug too deep. And I'm not saying nobody did it on purpose. I'm just saying things happen, and you said the wrong thing. It may have. Now you think you're in a hole that's too deep because you've done went on. You doubled down on on this mistake that you have said, and instead of just going, "Oh wait, that was a mistake," and backtracking on what you said. Especially with cop- when you're dealing with cops, it's a hard, hard deal because you're not sure if you're going to get in trouble. And you know, I just feel bad for all the locals that got, you know, fuck Carroll County too. Like the locals that got fucked with. Ron Logan died. He got COVID. They they put him in prison for a co- or jail or something for a couple years because he had to admit that he was drinking and driving for his alibi. Okay, like they had to go and like 
they went to the pizza place. So, like, you know, it, and it sucks that they were investigating the Delphi thing and they took him to jail over that. I, I can't even believe it. Yeah. But well, then he gets COVID too about and dies. The judge, you know what I'm saying? Because the judge was the one that sent him to prison. And the yeah. judge is sus, too. Like, yeah, the judge is sus, too, and the sheriff and everybody else. So, I mean... There's just too much out there. It's just that whole town is the twilight zone. <laughs> but anyways, let's call it cut out of here. It's getting long enough. But uh, let's finish those transcripts and we might respond again. Yeah, we'll, we'll come back later with more. Y'all have a good one. Jamie Redneck out. <laughs>